Thank you so much. Uh, good afternoon. I would like to begin by expressing my heartfelt gratitude for the honor of this appointment as the 12th Chancellor of North Carolina Central University. To President Spellings, thank you so very much for entrusting me with this tremendous opportunity. It has been my pleasure to work with you very closely. I admire your dedication, our institution, your passion for education, your investment in our collective success, and your affinity for North Carolina Central University. I pledge that I will do all that I can to lead NCCU in a manner that honors our mission and to work closely with UNC General Administration to fulfill the university system's wide mission and goals that accrue to the benefit of the citizens of the great state of North Carolina. Moreover, I pledge to conduct myself and the affairs of NCCU with integrity and character. Thank you for your confidence, for my ability, and your faith in the promise of my leadership. To Chairman Brissett and the members of the UNC Board of Governors, I am grateful for your leadership and look forward to working with all of you in carrying out the strategic focus and priorities of the UNC system and the state of North Carolina. To Chairman Hamilton and current as well as former members of the NCCU Board of Trustees, a special thanks for serving as our university's powerful advocates. Each of you work hard in putting the priorities of our institution first and being voices of influence for us on many platforms. To my colleagues, UAC chancellors, I look forward to collaborating with each of you and serving as resources to one another as we lead our respective institutions. To members of the Chancellor's Search Committee, I thank you for your work and dedication throughout the search process. It has been a pleasure interacting with each of you. I'd also like to acknowledge my life partner, my wife, Juanita, who has stood by my side during this long journey. I wholeheartedly share this moment and accomplishment with you. I am grateful for your unyielding love and the support over the years. Together, we are the proud parents of two adult children, Nikki and Peter, who are both accomplished graduates of a UNC system institution. They are unable to be here today due to their professional obligations. However, they join me and my wife in expressing their excitement in being part of the special Eagle family. I'd also like to recognize other, recognize other members of my extended family who are here today. Betty Glenn, Brian, and Glenda Apu, and Alan. Thank you all for your presence here today. To my NCCU family, members of the executive leadership team, faculty, staff, alumni, NCCU Foundation, and especially our students. I also say thank you. Our work together has just begun. I will represent you and our university proudly. And to all elected officials, dignitaries, and other special guests, thank you for your service to our communities and the state of North Carolina. Today, I'm reminded of a visionary pioneer in whose shadow of greatness 
I now stand. NCCU's founder, Dr. James E. Shepard. Dr. Shepard, a man of faith who demonstrated in 1909 that great things are possible to those who believe. His vision and good works started an institution for the development in young men and women of the character and sound academic training requisite for real service to the nation. This noble cause and mission was continued by many chancellors who have toiled before me and whose leadership has brought this institution thus far. Today, NCCU is a preeminent institution with a stellar reputation for excellence as the nation's first publicly supported liberal arts college for African Americans and a legacy as the nation's second law degree granting HBCU. As the 12th chancellor, I will continue to uphold this legacy and serve with integrity as a champion of excellence in all aspects of NCCU's operations and practices. I will continue to assess, evaluate, and transform the university to increase efficiencies, sustain shared resources, expand its academic and research portfolio, and enhance its brand and reputation. Moreover, NCCU will seek to maintain and expand our community partnerships with sister institutions, K through 12, private industry, corporations, and nonprofit organizations. We will continue to engage and explore innovative ways to collaborate with the county and the city of Durham in economic development, revitalization of our region, and the immediate areas surrounding the university. Most importantly, NCCU will continue to place as its core principles access, student success, retention, and graduation, as well as preparing our students to be globally competitive and market ready. My deep commitment to the value of higher education and innovation provide me with the requisite knowledge and experience to continue the momentum that is already underway at NCCU. As I close, I am thankful for and indebted to my dear friend and boss, the late Deborah Sanders White, the 11th Chancellor of NCCU. Her work, passion, and dedication took the university to new and greater heights. The honor of following her legacy of eagle excellence is one that I treasure and cherish. Again, I thank you very much for the opportunity to serve and to lead North Carolina Central University as we soar together to new heights. Thank you.